All right, everybody, welcome back to The Discount. I hope you're all having a wonderful week. As always, wanted to do a quick midweek market update now that we have the FOMC behind us. So today, real quick recap, we're gonna go over the S&P 500, NASDAQ, semiconductors, Russell 2000, and the majors in crypto, Bitcoin and Ethereum. So from Sunday, if you remember, we pulled some put options on the SPY since we've been long this pretty much this entire move. And now we trimmed our longs pretty much flat to a little bit short here on the S&P 500 with that one put option play. Let's zoom in. These markets are incredibly, incredibly strong. And I would not be surprised to see this thing chop around here and consolidate for the rest of the summer. That's why we played these put options far out. Doesn't mean they're even going to work, by the way. But it is a good risk reward scenario at this point in the market cycle. So where could they be going in the short term if they want to continue this rally this right here at about 461 is a major major pivot point on the spy and if markets want to rally and continue rallying into the summer i'd not be surprised them tag that and perhaps pull back from there if the pullback is going to happen. Now onto the QQQ, the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ is in a little bit of a different situation here than the SPY. We're starting to notice some developments here that are very important to note. Notice this pattern here on the NASDAQ and notice this pattern here on the SPY. We have some divergences right now. This is a little bit more of a bearish pattern, right? On the QQQ, the NASDAQ, which typically could could be breaking down to the downside eventually. As well, you have this very steep upsloping trend line, which on the SMH, if you remember from Sunday's video, coincides with this huge rising wedge, rising wedge-ish type pattern that we would expect after the summer is over to break down to the downside eventually. So things are starting to form, things are starting to feel a little bit toppy, a little bit exhausted. Doesn't mean that it has to be over right away or it has to be over at all, but we are expecting some type of pullback here into October and November. So again, watch the QQQ, the NASDAQ. It is painting a little bit of a different picture here and we want to be on guard for downside so we did pull those put options on the smh we're prepared to average into them a little bit higher in our free telegram channel head on over there if you're not there already our members were notified when we pulled the trigger on these put options. And as I mentioned as well, we were long this entire move in that channel through various different plays. And we've captured 100, 200, 300, over 400% gains in the Telegram channel completely free. So head on over there. There's nothing to lose. The link is in the description. Last but not least, let's head on over to Bitcoin. Not the greatest looking chart. If you remember from Sunday, we were talking about how Bitcoin would break out of this down sloping trend line, have a failed breakout to the upside. It almost tagged this trend line here. Congratulations to any shorts who saw that as an opportunity. We saw it as an opportunity as well, but we wanted higher as well to short into that did not end up happening so what ended up happening scenario number one from sunday's video if we zoom in here on the hourly chart you can see right we had the first deviation out of this down sloping trend line and then that second deviation almost tagged that trend line to a t and gave you that great great intraday and swing trade short scenario on Bitcoin. So what is it doing now? First, we want to thank our sponsors at Femex. If you are new to crypto trading, we are currently trading up to 100x leverage on crypto futures on Femex. It is a US friendly crypto trading platform. The best part is the user interface is exactly like best part is the user interface is exactly like TradingView super user-friendly and intuitive. The link to Femex is in the description. Head on over there. Let us know via email if you've registered and if you have any questions, we are happy to help walk you through the platform and get you set up. Also, if you are not journaling your trades, 
Head on over to Coin Market Manager. It is the number one automated journaling and analytics tool for crypto traders. You simply connect your exchange via API so that you don't have to journal manually anymore. When you are done with your trading day, week, month, you simply log into Coin Market Manager and see where you were wrong, where you were right, your performance how you can get better, and everything in between to help you become a better trader. The link to Coin Market Manager is in the description as well. Head on over there if you are interested in becoming a better trader. All right, so if we zoom out on Bitcoin on the daily chart, what are we really expecting from here? Well, if we just do some simple analysis here, this is a big breakdown candle a huge ugly daily candle on bitcoin and this could coincide with a bear pattern right we come up get some volatility and then come back down I'm going to be looking for potential shorts if we get some type of serious rally into that 30,700 level and up to a spike of 31,000 i can see us breaking out here a little bit getting up, tagging this trend line, not getting above that high. And this would coincide with, we're kind of getting into late August, mid August, into September, into that kind of pullback time frame, And that might look good for a short scenario. And it really depends on how it gets in there, when it gets in there, if it even gets in there. But the sooner the better would be the best. I could see it tagging up here, coming back down and resuming downtrend down to ultimately where I'd like to flip long for a longer term trade, which would be down to that 28,500, down to even lower towards 27,500. But again, this is all how the markets get into these levels in order to capture my real-time thinking and when we are going to be taking these trades and if we are even going to be taking these trades. Come on over to the free Telegram channel and get notified. It's absolutely free. So that's the scenario I'm looking for. Doesn't mean it has to happen. But what I do know is this. Bitcoin needs to close daily above 30,000 and more specifically 30,100. Why is that? Well, that was the breakdown candle high. So we need to close above this and gain strength again. If we can't, another fair short scenario, at least even just for a day trade, is some type of breakout into that breakdown candle high and we get some type of pullback from there again. And quite honestly, Bitcoin is looking very weak at the moment. Doesn't mean it's going to stay that way, but there's just nothing to do on Bitcoin for me at least for now. Now, Ethereum is holding up at that 236 from all time highs. So very, very important FIB level, right? It is holding up very, very well considerably. And it looks much better structurally than Bitcoin. So again, if you're spot long or leverage long, you really love to see this on some type of flush. You would love some accumulation, right? Down at 1700, maybe even 1600. You really don't want to see it break this trend line, but I could see a scenario where we get a flush soon maybe run some stops here and resume uptrend i could totally see that happening so it's kind of a spot area for me i'll be accumulating and i accumulated here a little bit but i will certainly be continuing to accumulate ethereum for the ultimate move which let's clean this up i think should absolutely get to 2200 first and then to 2400 and 2700 ultimately. So again, head on over to Telegram, link in the description to see when we are pulling more trades on Ethereum. And just to show you guys, we have a little over 330 traders in this channel now. It is completely free. We have offerings coming out that are very, very attractive for day traders, for swing traders, investors, and everything in between. So head on over here, guys. Have a great rest of your week. Let me know if you have any questions via email or Twitter DMs, and we will see you on the charts.